arthritis, multimodal, th multimodal therapy includes things like exercise, massage, um, weight loss, uh, the use of drugs in a, in a minimal amount. We always try to titrate down to the lowest amount of drugs we can use. And this case included a special diet called JD, which is an, turns out to be an excellent diet that when we put dogs on this within three weeks, we see tremendous improvement. So in this case, with uh, Sarah, we used all, all of the above and we got excellent results. Well, Sarah Rose, I got Sarah Rose when she was about three months old, and uh, from the time I got her, she had leg problems. Sarah was born in 03, and she had hip dysplasia. At nine months of age, she was having problems getting up and down. We x-rayed and found out that she did have a rather severe case of hip dysplasia. Then at two years of age, Sarah ruptured her right cranial cruciate ligament, and so we repaired that. Two years later, Sarah ruptured her other cruciate ligament in her left leg. So now she had hip dysplasia, both hips. She had two repaired cranial cruciate ligaments, which both, of course, even with surgery, there's some arthritis. And uh, she just wasn't very active. Okay, the plan on day one was to acquaint um, Sarah Rose, owner Carolyn, with the program and explain that we were going to be giving JD, that we were going to be uh, providing, uh, giving it in such amounts that we'll have some weight loss because Sarah's too heavy. Um, we also want to start Sarah on a, an excellent non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug called Duramax and they were also going to administer adequate injections at various intervals. And that combination and the tests that we will do will hopefully show that she is improving on those drugs. And perhaps we can even cut down on the amount of Duramax once she's on JD for 30 days. Thanks for coming in. Hi Elizabeth, nice Hi. to be here. You brought Sarah Rose. I did. Sarah is such an ideal candidate for an arthritis study that she was featured on WAND TV before we even began any arthritic studies. We always hear about arthritis in people, but how common is it for dogs to get it, especially at that age? It's too? very common, and especially in larger dogs, and she's a larger dog. In fact, we're going to take some weight off of her, which will help, just like it does in people. And also in Limited Magazine, there's an article on arthritis in dogs showing Sarah and her difficulties in, in taking a walk. So those are two sources, and I think we'll, we're going to add this to, as a third source. I think it'll be wonderful as she keep, if she continues improving as she has so far. Sarah and I and Carolyn made four trips to the University of Illinois, and each time we did a force plate analysis and um, some gyneometric studies, We're looking to see how much flex and extension she had in her joints. I noticed that the first day we went to the University of Illinois in my van, uh, Carolyn put a blanket in the back and uh, we wanted Sarah to jump in the van and she couldn't do it. Uh, you can see that on the video that she just can't, she couldn't make it in there by herself. Later on, after she was on uh, the, the pharmaceuticals we put her on, a few weeks later, as you can see, she's dramatically improved. She's doing much better. She can jump in the van. saw a dramatic improvement, but not even the improvement that was shown on paper did not match the improvement that we saw in her, uh, in her being able to jump and climb stairs and have fun and 
Now Carolyn has trouble holding on to her with the leash because she wants to go. It just made a tremendous difference. We put Sarah Rose on the uh, Propio 5000, one of the latest models of proprioception machines, to see how well she was doing as far as balance and proprioception. Checking a dog's proprioception compared to a human's, how does that compare on your machine? Um, actually, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, you see the same type of response with the older people. Of course, they don't sit down, um, but they'll grab a hold of the platform so, or of the handrail. So there's a lot of similarities as far as how they react and how well they're able to maintain the balance and how shaky I guess they are. She's obviously improved dramatically because the first time we had her on it she could not maintain balance and this time she seems a little uncomfortable with the machine but very comfortable with balance. I thought she did really well. Basically what the equipment does is it has quick perturbations and the ability to react to these quick perturbations and respond using their proprioceptors in the system really is what it does and before we could not go at the speeds that we were going here late on this latest uh, test. And you could see she's much more sturdy. Sarah Rose's diet was extremely important in multimodal therapy for a couple reasons. First of all, she was overweight. She weighed at one time quite a bit over 100 pounds. Now, since that time, she's down to around 87 pounds and she's still losing. She eats two cups of food a day, I measure that out, and she goes and gets her measuring spoon. It's, it uh, measures a, a cup in the morning, and then I measure a cup in the uh, evening. And she has all the carrots she wants, and she gets an apple a day, and she gets green beans. My neighbor's been watching us throughout uh, this program and uh, not knowing what we were doing because she has never seen Sarah and me walk in our neighborhood. I see her walking her and uh, she told me that she was having trouble with her hips and uh, she wasn't doing too good there for a while but now she is doing super. I see her running. In fact, my little dog runs up and down the fence line barking at both of her dogs. I'm not neighborly, I'm not neighborly with Nella. She has approached me a couple of times now and said that she thinks Sarah is doing so much better that she doesn't even see her limp when she walks anymore. I'd see them walk out over there and through the churchyard and on down the road. And then I'd see them come back and each day why I noticed the dog was walking better. And I even said something to her about it and she said, yeah, she was doing a lot better since she started walking her. I can't believe how much she's improved um, because I have to admit I was kind of hesitant because she had been limping for so long, all, all of her life, and now to see that it's better and we're actually decreasing some of the pain medication and she's still doing fine. We had a telescopic ramp out the back steps for her to go in and out and we just put that up a couple of days ago because she uses the steps. Seeing Sarah Rose respond, and especially seeing Ms. Sunderlich's response to Sarah's improvement is dramatic and it's fun. That's why I'm a veterinarian. I like to see things like that. It's hard to put in words how happy you are when you see something like that when they've been in pain all of their life.